What up, YouTube? Thank you for tuning back into the channel. You have reached Tesla Picker. I'm Dave. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, I'm out here running. You gotta get my, uh, I'm about two miles in. You got my boys with me. Yes, sir. Feeling good. I ain't ran in a while because the gym's been closed. Oh, come on, and man. And I haven't been really running outside. But today's an okay day, so I decided to get out with the boys. My breathing's straight. Anyway, y'all not trying to hear all that, huh? Nope. Today, I'm gonna do a little bit more listing. I gotta go to the post office. And we're gonna do like we did last time with the listing. And see what I got. Cause I got some gems last time. At least that's what people were saying. So we're gonna keep going with it, alright? Cause I got a lot more to do, alright? So let me continue my run. And we're gonna get at it, alright? Real though, if I have to dump the a trash, uh, they call them dump the diving. Look at this guy, Pittsburgh Steelers. He got some gems in there. Look at that. He has some gems in that garbage can. I ain't about to go through this garbage. Look, there's about three cars there. <laughs> you called police on me. Bruh. Let's go. Why do you say don't feed the water? The waterfall. Huh? Why do you say don't feed the waterfall? Waterfowl. Waterfowl, what's that? Meaning don't feed the geese and the ducks. Why? Because they will stay. And guess what? You know when it's crap all over the place? Yeah. There will be crap all over the place. Bruh. So, and you know how every time we try to get through the neighborhood, there's always a big line of geese and we always gotta wait and wait and wait. Plus these people over here, they always in their grass. And they mess up their grass and they don't like it. I can put you in there. We can swim across the side. Uh, why don't you? You want to swim across the other side? No, You want to get in? Yeah. <laughs> you would say, yeah. It's 45 degrees out here. You crazy. What's that thing in the middle? All right, you two. We're sitting down. Let's see what we got here. Sitting in the little pond in my neighborhood. Let's talk about the agenda today. What are we doing today? Uh, got to go to the post office and see the packages off, right? Uh, we probably do a little listing again because I got a bunch of stuff I still got to list. I got to go to work at 2 o'clock. But when I get back, I'm going to grab some bags and we're going to do a little listing. Your mama does taking up the basement. She's taking up my man cave. Okay? She got a teacher over and they trying to come up with some type of online system. Um, yeah. All of Jefferson County here in Louisville, they're trying to come up with some type of online system for the kids to do, for the, you know, the teachers. But to why in the basement? Huh? What do you mean why? I can't do it upstairs. I don't know. Take oh, in the kitchen. All the fun's in the basement, ain't it? Yeah. yeah in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Might have to tell her that when we get back, right? Yeah. Bruh. Anyway. Uh, good luck with that. Anyway, <laughs> um, so we're going to get back. We're going to bring our stuff upstairs. We're going to get on the couch and we're going to do it there, all right? We're going to do a little video of unboxing. You weren't at the last one. You know what I'm saying? You was upstairs. I was. On your iPad. You weren't trying to pay us no mind. But me and Cam, we got it in. Did then we get it in. I was upstairs watching um, a movie with mommy. What did you watch? I have no idea. But <laughs> <laughs> the ones with you have the mask no idea. and stuff, Cam. The what? The ones How are you going to watch a movie and have he, no idea? When he, when he pulls his thing off and he's bleeding. Uh, anyway. No. So, uh, let's get back, man. Let's see what we got here. We're question first of all step out who do you think you are 
Huh? Bruh. How you gonna come downstairs like it's like you just Hugh Hefner? Do you know who Hugh Hefner is? Hugh Hefner? Okay, well you shouldn't. You don't own this house. I'm not stuck on the bed. Bruh. All right, I'm in the car. I'm about to go mail off some packages, you know. Uh, some of my bread and butter packages, I put it on the screen. Uh, I sell at least one of these, one of these a week, but I sold two yesterday, so uh, I guess that's a nice pickup. But this all I sold, you know, uh, for some reason people want to get their hair. <laughs> people want to make sure that hair is straight yes, during sir. this shutdown. I call this a shutdown. I guess that's what everybody else call it, right? Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna go mail these packages off. Uh, just got me a nice 3.42 mile jogging. Feel pretty good. I haven't ran in a while uh, since this. You know, this everything has been all crazy, and I have been running on the treadmill. Of course, no more gyms. And um, so I got out today. The kids, you know, tired them out a little bit. They handle it like a pro. They got energy like crazy. <laughs> and just in case you did not hear it, because I was running. And I don't know what you heard. It could be, I haven't watched the footage. I was probably all jogging it <laughs> Cause I had ran in a while. Bruh. So thank you for tuning back into the channel. You have reached Tesla Picker. I'm your boy, Dave. Thank you for tuning in. How to get that in, right? So um, yeah, I'm gonna do that, man. I'm gonna ride past this Ben's spot. We supposed to, well, the governor just put us on that you know, all essentials only open type deal. But a lot of people here have been breaking the law. You know what I'm saying? On, I've heard about some couple of barber shops police ran into, some beauty shops that was open and wasn't supposed to be open and police is going in there shutting them down. This place was open the other day and it wasn't supposed to be open. You know, it's the band store I tell y'all about a lot. So it's right up the street, like a half mile from the house. I can walk there. I'm riding past it now and Okay, I guess they got the message. It don't look like any cars is out. Yeah, ain't no cars out here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Give me five is what it's called. Ain't no cars out there and the lights is out. So, about time, man. Golly, I mean, the governor been pretty much threatening people. He been like, look, if y'all don't want to follow the rules, I can do a complete shutdown where there's nothing but grocery stores and liquor stores. They got to keep on liquor stores open, right? Straight <laughs> That's been, that's the most asked question. When I be watching these press conferences, press conferences, I guess that's what you call them, with the governor and the mayor and all that, are the liquor stores gonna be open question comes up every time. You know what I'm saying? I understand it's kind of dangerous shutting them because some people depend on that in order to be sane. You know, it's like a medication for a lot of people, I guess. Uh, I guess that's why the question keeps coming up. But he was like, yes, every time he says, yes, the liquor stores are gonna be open. Plus, we need our little fix right now. Shoot, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna get into that because this is a family show, you know what I'm saying? Yes, so, sir. Anyway, I'm gonna drop these packages off. I'm gonna get back and we're gonna do some more listing, I guess. I'm gonna grab a couple more bags before I have to go to work. Maybe get the kids, bring them down, entertain them for a little while. And uh, yeah, I told y'all the videos is gonna be a little different. As you can tell, this video is way different for me because I'm usually out. My channel is usually being out and about, all right? I'm out, I'm sourcing, I'm grinding, I'm flipping, I'm doing anything with the ING on the end. Bruh. <laughs> ING. Anyway, so let's get over here, let's mail these packages, let's get back home, and uh, yeah. All right, those of y'all who's been watching me, I say from my past at least 10 videos know, every now and then I go with my playful wife friend, all right? <laughs> so I got another one today, all right? so. Your boy got Tesla Studios hooked up. You know what I'm saying? He got the camera. I got the light. You know what I'm saying? I got a little bit of my Def Pal over here. And I'm about to go in right here. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I'm actually even upstairs, this is my living room. I'm upstairs in my living room is because she's downstairs in the man cave with one of the teachers. She's a teacher. So, so the other sister principal came over and they doing some type of online thing for the students, which is cool. All right? So I was like, all right, go on and take the man cave. Get yourself together. And what is that over there? Where that window come from? Bruh. Anyway, going to get yourself together. And I come up here, knock out this video real quick. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? So I got the kids up here, keeping them quiet. She's down there. I'm about to sit down and do my thing. You understand yes, what sir. I'm saying? And let me go ahead and leave right now. Walk out. You know what I'm saying? Let me go on and get out here. So I'm about to do my thing. She calls me downstairs and say, hey, you mind going to pick up some lunch for us? 
Bruh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, come on, come on man. man. <laughs> I guess I can't complain too much because she bought me lunch, too. Nope. But I'm about to sit down and do my thing, man. You know what I'm saying? All y'all who's in relationships. I'm going to be a therapist. I'm about to be a relationship therapist. The hood way, though. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all know the ins and outs, what goes on, what doesn't go on, and things like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I say this to say this. I got to be at work at 2 o'clock. It's 11.30. I told her, say, look, I got to lock out the video real quick, do some other things. You know what I'm saying? Do this and do that. Go over there and do some stuff. And then come back and go to work. But, oh, can you go pick uh, a lunch up for us? Oh, and by the way, I ordered two margaritas too, so make sure you be careful and don't spill anything. Bruh. Anyway, I just wanted this rant end. I'm done with the rant. It wasn't even really a rant, right? I can't complain. She bought me lunch. She did ask me. I could have said no. All right, I'm gonna take this rant back. This wasn't that bad. <laughs> so, this is my second time doing this. <laughs> um, just give me y'all this disclaimer, and I might. I did this with my six-year-old. Oh God, come on, Dave, get it together, get it together. Anyway, I'm holding. I did this with my six-year-old. Okay, uh, I went through these bags, and he was supposed to help me. Um, comp some of these, you know, death pal items out and, uh, you know, just go through it, go through the bags just like I did with my older son, my older, well, not my older son, but my middle son, Cameron, the other time. Uh, that video ended up being pretty good. Uh, people said they liked it and said Cameron was pretty cool in the video. So I was like, you know what? Okay, let me go and give him a dose of my six-year-old. Y'all can't handle my six-year-old. My six-year-old's crazy, okay? <laughs> so I ended up doing it again when I got off work. And this is what y'all gonna see now. But I want y'all to see some clips of what I had to go through with my six-year-old, all right? Because he's a uh, he's a character in itself. And I'm gonna do more videos with him, but I decided not to put our whole piece in this video because it, it just got crazy, all right? Check this out. And then we'll be back for the regular scheduled program. All right, all right. Well, my oldest one's day, but second oldest. Second oldest, my father is ten. Yeah. What do you look, Bruh. You got this robe on. Who do you think you are? <laughs> like ten dollars. Ten dollars? No five. We're gonna get more than that, right? Though. That's that's. We that, in... that was from the eighteen nineties. This ain't from no eighteen nineties. Yes. Look, we in the business the, of selling. The dudes, okay? the dudes in the military. Bruh. Dudes in the military? Yeah. But you think we can get for that Pepsi? He don't know. Anyway. A hundred dollars. I'll probably listen for about twelve. This won't be sold. Should I sell this? So you just gonna if look over. If you want money, show it. If I want money? Yeah. If you don't want money, don't sell it. I want money though. Then sell it. <laughs> Do you put DVD players on here? No, yeah. you don't know. See, this is back in this is before your day. Back in the day, instead of CDs, we put tapes in there, and that's how we listen to our music. Bruh. What? Yeah, man, it was crazy back then. Stripping. You been, you been, you been buying stuff when dinosaurs were living. Bruh. Dang. I ain't that old. What is that? It's a recorder. I paid three dollars for a Sanyo recorder. What's in this stuff? And uh, where are you going? What's in these bags? Hold it up, we ain't made it to those bags yet. We're still doing this. Anyway, this is a Sanyo recorder. And a Walkman. These might be some money. We gonna see. How did I forget to list these? I told y'all last video, I just Too forget. Old. I'm what? Too old. What's that mean? Your back hurts when you do stuff. Bruh. I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know if it's focused on me, but um, 
the same thing. Look, we all over the place. This video, you get messing the video all up. Devin, why don't you sit down somewhere? <laughs> okay. There you go. All right. Do you want to continue to be my sidekick or do I need to get camera? Put that, keep it down there. Give me another bag right there. Give me that bag over there. The good wheel bag. The big one? Yeah, that one. No, no, not the big one. This this one? That, no, that one over there. This one? Yes. It's only two. No, this one. only two bags over there. Come on. Give me one. Hurry up. The camera's going. You got all this stuff from Goodwill? Yes. I got it from different places. I don't know. It looks like it is. It's a Goodwill bag. Yeah, so. Put that bag over there. Oh my god. You are Ooh. killing me. Ooh. Look, my camera's out messed up. Man. That's no rotation. There we go. Alright, now we looking a little bit more professional. Alright. Try to get that duff pal down to nothing. You know what I'm saying? Why well, have the time? I mean I can't go to any. Don't forget my dad has a mustache and a beard. Bruh. Alright. I'm in Tesla Studios right now. Um Got my setup, I got my lights, I got my camera. Action! It's nah. Right. I'm about to go through these bags like we did the other day. Um, I got a couple bags. I'm slowly but surely working on this Def Pal. Uh, what I'm gonna start doing though, I think last time I got an item and I tried to look it up on camera. I think that just takes too long. So, yes, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna grab some stuff, show it, you know, see what I got. And then later on, at the, basically, I'm gonna show you right here. About right here what it's going for on eBay because I'm gonna look all this stuff up after I do this but y'all not gonna know that but I don't know why I even tell y'all that stuff it's stupid I should just go ahead wow. rip it out and make sure I got my audio on last time I did a video and the whole time I didn't yeah I got my audio on anyway so that's what I'm gonna do all right um, all your update as far as this coronavirus stuff uh, Indiana which is right up the way from me about you know 10 minutes away from me just got shut down so that's another state that's being shut down and i believe kentucky's probably gonna be right after them but i just found out today in my job because i work with me like crazy still i'm i'm not sitting at home i'm at work that i'm essential so <laughs> your boy still got work no matter what you know they gave me a piece of paper today just in case i get pulled over that says i'm a sent you know my job i gotta work i can't stay at home blah 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 so your boy is important, you know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, uh, there could be a, um, I don't know, what's the worst thing that can happen? There could be a uh, tsunami and your boy gotta go to work, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, I don't even know why I even told y'all that. Let's go through some of this stuff. Um, like I said, my boys is upstairs. They didn't want to be no poor level today, but they sleep. They ain't got no choice, so. First thing is this Pepsi hat right here. I remember getting this. I actually got two of them. I got this Pepsi hat and I got this UPS hat right here. Um, these are probably a good $15 items. I'll look them up after this and put them at the bottom of the screen to see. I did try to look this one up before this UPS store and I never seen any, I never seen this logo on any other hat. So um, I might better list them for a little higher. I don't know. But I'm going to get these listed tonight and I'm going to get this Pepsi listed tonight. Um, just two nice hats. You know, one's a strap back and one's a Velcro joint. And um, lately, I've been trying to pick up hats like this. Um, I've sold two before in the past, and uh, I've only got two, and they moved. So I think I got an eye for what I think somebody will buy. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on the shirt. I got an eye for what I think somebody will buy. Hashtag Tesla Picker. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So, got those right there. Um, this boxing's best right here. I remember getting this, but I'm keeping this for myself. This is Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, Rocky Marciano, and Jack Dempsey. VHSs. I believe this is about their life at that time. I don't know when. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I probably won't even open it. I bought. I paid $2.99 for it. And it just be a nice piece to go in my Muhammad Ali shrine that I have. Um, even though it's other boxes in it. One of them is Muhammad Ali. So, I think I'm going to keep this. All right. Blanket. I gotta list stuff like this. Bruh. Got a big owl on it. I'm trying to show it to you guys. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, big old owl. Woo, woo. That's not what owls do, but they do. Woo, woo, woo. There you go. Uh, it's made by um, a nobody. 
or nobody, Northwest. But I've, I've sold blankets like this, and for some reason, people like them with big animals on them. So they tend to do good. And I've seen this one, I think I, I don't know, I'll try to find this one, and I'll post it down the bottom of the screen. But I believe I've seen it for Babby, maybe a $30 piece. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I might have to wash it. I don't know, I think somebody did something. Yeah. Oh, anyway, so, I'm gonna get that listed. What else we got over here? Here they come. Here come these pieces that I should have listed a long time ago. Come on, man. Norelco recorder. I remember getting these. I got a couple in here now that I think about it. Uh, I don't know. I'll put it down at the bottom of the screen. I don't know what this is going for, but these recorders tend to do good. Uh, I usually don't comp them. I just pick them up if I can get them for a good price. And at this spot, they had them for a good price. This one was $3. Uh, I got another one in here, I believe. This one right here. This is a Sanyo. It's $3. Nice recorders. I gotta get a personal foul. Tripping. Receiving team number five. Ten yard penalty. First down. Come on, Dave, what are you doing? Sony Walkman? This is a good one too, I think. This one right here has no scratch. This is a nice, actual Walkman. You young punks don't know nothing about these. These right here used to be the thing, boy. Throw that tape in there. I used to love these. Then they came out with the CD players and you had to hold it like this because you used to skip all the time until they came out with the anti-skip and then you can do it for about 20 seconds and then it'll skip. <laughs> anyway, let's go and move on. All right, what else I got in this bag? Look like a little timer, outlet timer, I guess. I don't know why about that, I ain't there. I look it up, it's Ingram. Uh, and look like some new old stock. Or is it old new stock? Yeah, old, look like some old new stock. Door gourd, it probably ain't nothing, but it was only a dollar, just something I threw in the bag. I remember, I got all this at an estate sale, I remember now. And uh, they was actually reasonable prices at this estate sale. Last one I went to sucked, the prices were sky high on everything. Right. Let's go through one more bag, you know what I'm saying? Cause your boy's tired, all right? I probably need to go ahead and list this. I don't know what this is. It's yarn, and it looked like somebody started to you know, to, to do something because they got a bunch of writing down. Look like it's pretty old, but it's a kit, and I don't know what. Anyway, I'm gonna list it as is. You know, I'm just gonna dump it all out, take a picture of it, and do an as is listing. Um, I believe it's a kit to make something, or maybe a pillow or something. Who knows? We're gonna figure that out. Ah, we got some filters. These are easy to list. I don't know why I haven't listed these. Don't have no idea what they go for. Look like I paid $4 for the set. That's kind of, I don't know. These are for vacuum cleaners. I don't know why I paid so much for these. Oh, I remember these. these I got some gems in here, I think. We're gonna do this one first. This right here, and I'm gonna post the comp down at the bottom. I paid a dollar for this. And this right here is um, a kit to make a pillow. And for I think the research that I did on it is this right here is actually hand painted by an artist. It's actually called Busella Needle Point, and it's the Pony Edition. And supposed to make you know give you the yarn and everything and you make a pillow now one thing about this is when I found it or when I looked it up I seen that other kits had two vanilla yarns in it so I think it's missing a piece Bruh. so I'm gonna list it accordingly I don't know maybe take a little bit off of it but I think this is a big money maker right here we gonna see we gonna see y'all seen the comp down there didn't you and there's only one other one on eBay at the time when I checked it. This was a while back. I remember this. And this is kind of the same. 1985 piece. Uh, 
right now people are buying stuff like this because they're trying to you know kill time so um this is for a picture though it goes in the picture frame i believe but i think it's like a 24 or 25 dollar piece but it's an old piece paid a dollar for it i remember them um is that all i got i got a couple more blankets hold up because what i'm trying to do every night is list about 10 to 15 items you know, you do it every night, you're doing good. Uh, this blanket, I think I just showed this to y'all not so long ago. Because I, I mean, I've only had this a couple weeks. It's a Christmas blanket. I think I had a viewer hit me up about this. If you hit me up about this, let me know. I'm going to list this tonight. Um, somebody asked me about some blanket, but I believe this is this one. But I think this was, um, I don't know, $30, $40 piece. If I find it, I'll put it on the screen. Along with this one, um, what is this? What is that? Yeah, same thing, Santa Claus. He's posted up, you know what I'm saying? So I might list that tonight. And another blanket. And this one's a, oh, this is the Godwin Weaver one. So, I got a number of blankets, man, but blankets tend to do good. If you can find one with a nice pattern on it, uh, maybe has some animals on it, uh, quilts especially, especially if they're handmade, they do great. I always get about at least $30 for a quilt. So, if you can get one for a good price, this store that I got, thrift that I go to, St. Vincent's, they always have them for only $2, and I sell them for $30, $40, $50 easy. So, uh, that's everything that I bought out, and I think that's all I'm going to bring out. I got a whole lot of other stuff I could have brought out but uh I'm gonna keep it short and sweet this time you know what I'm saying your boy's tired I know y'all can tell because my energy is kind of at I say my energy is probably at like 27 percent and uh I'm using at least 90 between 90 and 94 percent energy you know what I'm saying so your boy's way down you know what I'm saying I'm sorry it was interrupted by my crazy camera cut off my memory card went full but now what I was saying is your boy energy is way down and hey I do not have the corona. I right? know that's what y'all thinking. Oh man, Dave's a little different today. What's going on? What's going on? Does he got the corona? He's talking about this. Nah, I'm good. All right. At least I think I am. I ain't got tested, so. Bruh. I think I'm good. All right. But nah, that's it. Um, thank everybody for watching. I appreciate it, man. Y'all been showing your boy love. All I've been getting is lovely comments from everybody and your boy appreciate it you know what i'm saying i love it makes me smile um i just love the love i just love the reseller rim you know what i'm saying i say about 98 percent of the people of the recent uh, the, uh ebay sellers or resellers or whatever we call ourselves what do we call ourselves resellers ebay sellers because it's not just ebay it's amazon resellers i don't know i say about Almost 100% of the people are pretty good. But now, with all that being said, man, make sure y'all uh, subscribe. But watch that last video and comment on the last video. I'll put it in the description so y'all can be entered in the giveaway. Because the next time I do this video, or the next time, I'm, a, I'm tired. Oh my God. The next time, or the next video that I drop, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, all right, for those three pairs of socks. And I might do more than that. I might do some surprise giveaways because, like I said, four people ain't even hit me up about them Lonnie socks, you know what I'm saying? So I got to make sure that them Lonnie socks get home, all right? So, with all that being said, y'all be good. Peace.